Welcome back to Z Coins. We're diving into the world of valuable coins to look at one of the most sought after quarters from the 1960s. The 1965 Nomad Mark Washington Quarter. Believe it or not, this little coin could be worth thousands of dollars. And yes, you heard that right. Certain versions of this 1965 quarter are currently valued at around $9,000. Let's find out why and how you might be able to tell if you've got one in your own pocket change. All right, let's get into some history. The Washington Quarter has been an iconic coin in U.S. currency since it was first introduced in 1932. By 1965, these quarters looked the same as they had for decades but that year marked a huge change in their composition. Prior to 1965, quarters were made of 90% silver. But due to a silver shortage, the U.S. Mint began producing them in a new, cheaper metal composition, a copper nickel clad. So what makes the 1965 quarter so special? Let's break it down. In that transitional year, the Mint switched from silver to copper nickel, but due to a few accidental strikes, some quarters were minted on silver planchets, blanks, left over from the previous year. These silver error quarters are what collectors are hunting for because they're incredibly rare and highly valuable. So how can you tell if you have one of these valuable error coins? First, weigh the coin. Regular 1965 copper nickel quarters weigh 5.67 grams, while the silver ones weigh slightly more around 6.25 grams. If you happen to have one of these heavier quarters, you could have a silver planchet error on your hands. If you don't have a scale at home, don't worry. Another way to test is by listening to the sound. The silver quarter produces a distinctly higher pitched ring compared to the copper nickel. So, take a listen if you think you have a 1965 quarter that looks suspiciously silver. Now, Let's talk about the money side of things. In 2023, some of these silver error quarters have sold for nearly $9,000 at auctions and online. The condition is key. Uncirculated or near mint coins will bring in the highest prices. But even if yours has been circulated, it could still fetch a hefty sum from the right buyer. So why the big price tag? It's all about rarity. Only a tiny number of these silver era quarters from 1965 were ever made, and they're super hard to find in the wild. That's what makes them so valuable to collectors today. Add in the condition and grading, and you've got a recipe for big money. But what if your quarter doesn't weigh more or sound different? Well, don't worry. Even regular 1965 quarters can have value. While the copper nickel quarters are worth face value in circulated condition, certain varieties or exceptionally high graded versions can still be worth quite a bit. For example, 1965 quarters in mint state condition, that's MS65 or higher, can sell for anywhere from $50 to $100 due to their rarity in such good condition. If you're serious about hunting these quarters, getting them professionally graded by companies, like PCGS or NGC can really help you determine if your quarter is worth the extra attention. These companies look at everything from strike quality to wear, so a graded coin adds value, authenticity, and might even attract higher bids. Let's break down some more value ranges. Here's a quick overview of what a 1965 quarter could be worth, depending on the type and condition. Regular copper nickel quarters, Face value in circulated condition. Mint state 1965 copper nickel quarters. Around $50 to $100 or more. The silver planchet error in circulated condition. For $1,000 to $1,600. The silver planchet error in mint state. Up to $9,000. So, if you find one of these silver error coins, you've practically hit the jackpot. Now here's a bonus tip for those looking to boost their coin hunting success. It's always a good idea to inspect your quarters for any other unusual features like doubled dies, misalignments, or other oddities. 
While these don't directly increase value to the level of silver planchet errors, unique features can add a premium. And there you have it. The 1965 Nomad Mark Washington Quarter might just be the golden ticket hiding in your pocket change. Whether it's a silver planchet error worth thousands or a high-grade copper nickel coin, it's a coin every collector should keep an eye out for. Thanks for tuning in to Channel Name. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more exciting coin tips. And hey, let me know in the comments. Do you have any 1965 quarters lying around? Have you ever found a valuable error coin? I'd love to hear your stories. We're diving deep into a coin that might just be hiding in your collection, or even your pocket change. We're talking about the 1995 D. Washington Quarter, a coin that's causing quite a stir in the coin collecting world due to its unique features and skyrocketing value. You heard it right. Some of these coins are currently valued at a stunning $9,000. So grab your magnifying glass and let's see if you could be holding on to a small fortune. First, let's give a bit of background for context. The Washington Quarter has been a staple in American currency since 1932, when it was introduced to honor George Washington. Over the years, collectors have loved these quarters for their changing designs, the iconic Eagle Reverse, and of course, for the value that certain editions can fetch. Now, when we're talking about the 1995 D. Washington Quarter specifically, the D signifies that the coin was minted in Denver. And while it may look like any other Washington Quarter at first glance, specific features and minting quirks have made this a coin worth paying attention to. So why is this coin turning heads and worth up to $9,000? Let's break down some of the reasons that give this coin its hefty value, from mint quality to error potential. One of the biggest factors in any coin's value is its condition. In coin collecting, this is determined by grading, which ranges from poor, P1, all the way to mint state, MS70. Coins that have the MS68 grade and above, meaning they're near perfect with almost no visible flaws, are incredibly rare for this 1995 D quarter. These high grades can significantly increase a coin's value because few quarters from 1995 were struck with such perfection. And get this. One of these rare MS68 graded 1995 D quarters was sold for an astounding $9,000. That's right, someone paid nine grand for a 25 cent coin because it was almost flawless. While millions of quarters are minted every year, not all quarters are equal. The 1995 D, especially in higher grades, has become harder to find as collectors snap them up particularly in pristine or uncirculated condition. When supply goes down and demand remains strong, values naturally rise. So, if you're lucky enough to find a 1995 D quarter in excellent condition, you could be looking at a seriously valuable coin. Errors can also increase a coin's value dramatically, and the 1995 D quarter is no exception. Collectors are on the lookout for certain errors, like double die errors where the design appears double due to misalignment off center strikes, when part of the coin's design is missing because it wasn't struck squarely, clipped planchet errors, when a part of the coin's edge is cut off due to a defect in the blank before striking. Coins with these types of errors are often unique and can sell for big money. Even minor double die errors can fetch hundreds, if not thousands, of dollars. So if you see something odd on your 1995 D quarter, don't overlook it. It might be worth a fortune. All right, let's talk numbers. The current market value of a 1995 D quarter is all over the place, depending on the condition, rarity, and demand. Here's a rough breakdown. Circulated condition. For a 1995 D quarter that's been in circulation, you're likely looking at its face value around 25 cents. Not every quarter from this year is a jackpot, especially those that have seen a lot of wear and tear. Uncirculated condition. Uncirculated 1995 D quarters 
especially those in MS-65 or MS-66 condition, can range from $20 to $100 depending on their shine and lack of visible flaws. This is pretty good for a quarter that started at $0.25. Cents. Mint State MS-68 and higher. This is the golden ticket. If you have a 1995D quarter in MS-68 or higher, that's where we're seeing prices soar up to $9,000. This high market price isn't set in stone, of course, but collectors are willing to pay top dollar for quarters with this rare level of perfection. So you might be wondering, how do you know if your quarter is worth $9,000? Let's go through a quick checklist to help you figure it out. Flip the coin over to see if it has a D mint mark on the front, to the right of Washington's ponytail. This tells you it was minted in Denver, which is important because the high-value 1995 quarters with the premium price tag are usually from the Denver Mint. Grab a magnifying glass and look closely at the coin's details. Do you see any nicks, scratches, or signs of wear? Coins in near-perfect condition are incredibly rare and typically the ones valued highest by collectors. Look closely at the lettering, numbers, and edges of the coin for any doubling or off-center designs. These error coins are the ones that can bump up the value even more. If you think you have a high quality or error 1995D quarter, it might be worth having it professionally graded by services like PCGS or NGC. A professional grading can confirm its mint state and authenticity, which can then increase its value if you decide to sell. And there you have it, folks. The 1995D Washington quarter might just be the treasure hiding in plain sight. Remember, condition and grading are everything, so take care to examine your quarters closely. Who knows, you could be holding on to one of the rarest quarters from the 90s that's worth thousands. Thanks for tuning in, and if you enjoyed this video or learned something new, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Let us know in the comments if you found any rare quarters yourself, or if there are other coins you want us to cover. See you in the next video, and happy hunting! We're diving deep into a coin that might just be hiding in your collection, or even your pocket change. We're talking about the 1995D Washington Quarter, a coin that's causing quite a stir in the coin collecting world due to its unique features and skyrocketing value. You heard it right. Some of these coins are currently valued at a stunning $9,000. So grab your magnifying glass and let's see if you could be holding on to a small fortune. First, let's give a bit of background for context. The Washington Quarter has been a staple in American currency since 1932, when it was introduced to honor George Washington. Over the years, collectors have loved these quarters for their changing designs, the iconic Eagle Reverse, and of course, for the value that certain editions can fetch. Now, when we're talking about the 1995D Washington Quarter specifically, the D signifies that the coin was minted in Denver. And while it may look like any other Washington quarter at first glance, specific features and minting quirks have made this a coin worth paying attention to. So why is this coin turning heads and worth up to $9,000? Let's break down some of the reasons that give this coin its hefty value, from mint quality to error potential. One of the biggest factors in any coin's value is its condition. In coin collecting, this is determined by grading, which ranges from poor, P1, all the way to mint state, MS-70. Coins that have the MS-68 grade and above, meaning they're near perfect with almost no visible flaws, are incredibly rare for this 1995D quarter. These high grades can significantly increase a coin's value because few quarters from 1995 were struck with such perfection. And get this. One of these rare MS-68 graded 1995D quarters was sold for an astounding $9,000. That's right, someone paid nine grand for a 25 cent coin because it was almost flawless. While millions of quarters are minted every year, not all quarters are equal. The 1995D, especially in higher grades, 
has become harder to find as collectors snap them up, particularly in pristine or uncirculated condition. When supply goes down and demand remains strong, values naturally rise. So, if you're lucky enough to find a 1995 D quarter in excellent condition, you could be looking at a seriously valuable coin. Errors can also increase a coin's value dramatically, and the 1995 D quarter is no exception. Collectors are on the lookout for certain errors, like double die errors, where the design appears double due to misalignment. Offsetter strikes, when part of the coin's design is missing because it wasn't struck squarely. Clipped planchet errors, when a part of the coin's edge is cut off due to a defect in the blank before striking. Coins with these types of errors are often unique and can sell for big money. Even minor double die errors can fetch hundreds, if not thousands, of dollars. So if you see something odd on your 1995 D quarter, don't overlook it. It might be worth a fortune. All right, let's talk numbers. The current market value of a 1995 D quarter is all over the place, depending on the condition, rarity, and demand. Here's a rough breakdown. Circulated condition. For a 1995 D quarter that's been in circulation, you're likely looking at its face value, around 25 cents. Not every quarter from this year is a jackpot, especially those that have seen a lot of wear and tear. Uncirculated condition, uncirculated 1995 D quarters, especially those in MS65 or MS66 condition, can range from $20 to $100 depending on their shine and lack of visible flaws. This is pretty good for a quarter that started at 25 cents, mint state MS68 and higher. This is the golden ticket. If you have a 1995 D quarter in MS68 or higher, that's where we're seeing prices soar up to $9,000. This high market price isn't set in stone, of course, but collectors are willing to pay top dollar for quarters with this rare level of perfection. So you might be wondering, how do you know if your quarter is worth $9,000? Let's go through a quick checklist to help you figure it out. Flip the coin over to see if it has a D mint mark on the front, to the right of Washington's ponytail. This tells you it was minted in Denver, which is important because the high-value 1995 quarters with a premium price tag are usually from the Denver Mint. Grab a magnifying glass and look closely at the coin's details. Do you see any nicks, scratches, or signs of wear? Coins in near-perfect condition are incredibly rare and typically the ones valued highest by collectors. Look closely at the lettering, numbers, and edges of the coin for any doubling or off-center designs. These error coins are the ones that can bump up the value even more. If you think you have a high quality or error 1995 D quarter, it might be worth having it professionally graded by services like PCGS or NGC. A professional grading can confirm its mint state and authenticity, which can then increase its value if you decide to sell. And there you have it, folks. The 1995 D. Washington quarter might just be the treasure hiding in plain sight. Remember, condition and grading are everything, so take care to examine your quarters closely. Who knows, you could be holding on to one of the rarest quarters from the 90s that's worth thousands. Thanks for tuning in, and if you enjoyed this video or learned something new, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Let us know in the comments if you found any rare quarters yourself or if there are other coins you want us to cover. See you in the next video and happy hunting. We're diving into the fascinating world of Washington quarters, specifically the 2003 P Mint Mark quarter. That's right. This unassuming coin, which most people wouldn't even think twice about, could actually be worth thousands of dollars. Yes, you heard me right. Some of these quarters are selling for up to $11,000. So, if you have a stash of coins at home, grab them, because you'll want to check for this one. The 2003 P. Washington quarter comes from the Philadelphia Mint, which typically produces quarters that circulate widely. 
but some of these coins are anything but typical. There are some unique details and rare conditions that make them extremely valuable today. So, let's get into what makes the 2003 P quarter such a hot topic in the world of numismatics. This coin is part of the 50 state quarters program, which the U.S. Mint started back in 1999. By 2003, they'd moved on to quarters that featured states like Illinois, Alabama, and Missouri. Millions of these coins were produced, but among these millions, a few special ones emerged. Point one of the main reasons some 2003 P quarters are valuable has to do with minting errors and high-grade conditions. Mint errors are mistakes that occur when the coin is being struck, and these can happen for a variety of reasons. We're talking about double dies, off-center strikes, die breaks, and even certain rare planchet errors. Mint errors are rare by nature, and collectors go wild for them. And because these errors are difficult to find, the coins in question get a boost in their value, often selling for thousands of dollars. And it's not just the errors. Coins in a high-grade condition, such as those graded MS67, MS68, or higher by coin grading services like PCGS or NGC, can also command a lot of money. In fact, the higher the grade, the rarer it is to find, especially for a circulating coin like this one. Now you're probably thinking, how can I tell if my 2003 P quarter is one of these valuable coins? Great question. Let's break it down. First, check for mint errors. One of the most sought after errors is called a double die. You'll want to inspect Washington's face, especially the eyes, nose, and lettering. Look closely, and if you notice any doubling in those areas, you could be holding a valuable coin. Next, look for off-center strikes. These are coins where the design isn't centered and part of it appears missing. Collectors love these because they're visually striking and unique. And finally, there's grading. If your quarter looks like it just came out of the mint, no scratches, dents, or wear, you might want to get it graded. A high-grade 2003 P quarter can fetch some serious money, with prices in the thousands if it reaches MS68 or higher. So, why does this coin fetch so much money in the first place? Aside from the allure of finding rare mint errors, the 2003 P Washington quarter has captured collectors' attention because of its scarcity in high grades. These quarters have been in circulation for a while now so it's not easy to find one that's remained in pristine condition. High grade 2003 P quarters graded MS68 or higher can go for thousands because of how rare they are in that condition. Coins like these don't just pop up every day, and when they do, collectors are willing to pay top dollar. Now let's talk numbers. Recently, some 2003 P quarters in the top grades have sold for up to $11,000. That's right, people are paying over 10 grand for one of these in the right condition. Of course, that's for coins in the absolute best condition or with major mint errors. More common grades or coins with minor errors might sell for a few hundred, which is still fantastic for a quarter. So, what if you think you have a valuable 2003 P. Washington quarter? First off, handle it carefully. Avoid touching the face of the coin. Instead, hold it by the edges to avoid oils from your fingers tarnishing it. Dot if you're confident it could be a high-grade coin or has an error, consider sending it to a professional grading service like PCGS or NGC. These companies specialize in evaluating coins and giving them an official grade, which can significantly increase your coin's market value. Once you have a graded coin, you can sell it on auction sites like eBay or even through dedicated coin auction platforms. Auctions can often drive up the price, especially if a bidding war starts between collectors. And there you have it. The 2003 P. Washington quarter is one of those amazing examples of everyday treasures hiding right under our noses. Whether you're a dedicated collector or just getting started, this is one coin you'll want to look out for. Remember, even if your quarter isn't worth $11,000, you might still have something of value, 
So, check your change, raid your coin jars, and who knows, you might just strike it big. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more awesome coin tips and rare finds. Thanks for watching and happy hunting! Where we dive deep into the world of coin collecting, values, and the stories behind those hidden treasures in your pocket. Today, we're talking about one of the most intriguing coins out there the 2021 D. Washington Quarter Dollar Coin, known for holding surprising value in the market today, with some specimens valued at up to $12,000. That's right, this little quarter is worth more than a used car. Before we get into why the 2021 D. Washington Quarter is so special, let's take a quick trip back in time to understand a bit about the Washington Quarter series. First minted in 1932, the Washington Quarter was created to celebrate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. Designed by sculptor John Flanagan, this coin has since become a staple in American currency, with various updates and modifications over the years. In 2021, the U.S. Mint released the last quarter in its America, the Beautiful series, marking the end of a 12-year collection that featured various national parks and historic sites. But this year also brought a lot of attention to the Denver Minted 2021 Washington Quarters with the D Mint Mark, not just for their history but for their value. So, what exactly makes the 2021 D Washington Quarter so special? Well, a few factors have driven collectors to pay thousands of dollars for these coins. While millions of these coins were minted, a small number were released into general circulation. Most went straight to collectors or special issues, meaning few are actually out in the world as regular pocket change. Not every quarter minted in Denver meets high standards. For a coin to be worth big bucks, it needs to be in mint state, meaning little to no wear or tear. Many 2021 D quarters found in pristine condition have received high ratings from professional grading services like PCGS or NGC which boosts their value significantly. Finally, error coins from 2021D are extremely desirable. Some of these coins may have small minting mistakes, like die cracks, doubling, or off-center strikes. These errors turn an already valuable coin into a prized collector's item. If you're hoping to strike gold, or rather silver, with one of these quarters, there are a few things to keep in mind. First, Look at the right side of the coin, near Washington's portrait. The D mint mark indicates it was minted in Denver, and that's crucial. If it's missing or has another mark, you've got a different coin. Next, check the coin's condition. Any visible scratches, scuffs, or signs of wear can lower the value significantly. Coins graded MS67 and above are in high demand, so if you think your coin might qualify, it's worth having it professionally graded. Finally, inspect the coin carefully for any unique features or minting errors. Coins with errors are rare and add a lot of value. So if you spot any unusual marks or misalignments, you may have a truly valuable find. Now, let's get into the numbers. As of today, top tier, Mint State 2021 D quarters have been seen fetching prices as high as $12,000. That's a pretty incredible number for a quarter. But here's the thing, this high value isn't universal. Only coins in MS67 or MS68 condition are seeing these types of bids. Coins in lesser conditions, like MS65, might still fetch hundreds or thousands, but they won't reach the five-figure range. If you think you've got a 2021 D Washington quarter that could be valuable, the next step is getting it graded by a professional service like PCGS or NGC. These companies will carefully assess the coin's quality, note any errors, and provide it with an official grade. Once you have that, you'll know exactly where your coin stands in the market. If grading isn't in your budget, you can still sell your 2021 D quarter for a decent price. Platforms like eBay, Heritage Auctions, and local coin shows are great places to list your coin. Just be sure to have high-quality photos that clearly show the mint mark, and 
if possible, document any unique features that could set your coin apart from others. To wrap up, the 2021 D. Washington Quarter isn't just another coin. It's a rare find, a piece of modern history, and an incredible opportunity for collectors or anyone lucky enough to find one in their pocket change. If you're interested in coin collecting or just love hearing about valuable finds, make sure to subscribe to channel name and ring the notification bell. Who knows, you might just learn about the next coin gem out there. Thanks for watching and happy treasure hunting. Today, we're diving deep into a 2021 P. Washington quarter that's been making waves in the collecting community. Yes, you heard right. The value of this quarter, minted in Philadelphia, has spiked, and some collectors are reporting prices as high as $13,000 on the market. But what's so special about this 2021 P. Washington quarter, and why are people willing to pay so much? First, let's talk about the basics. The 2021 P. Washington quarter was minted as part of the final release in the America the Beautiful series. Each of these quarters was minted with a P mark, which stands for the Philadelphia Mint. Now, typically, a standard Washington quarter from this year wouldn't be worth more than 25 cents. But certain qualities make some of these 2021 quarters highly valuable and rare in the eyes of collectors. So what's creating the hype for this quarter? Well, in the world of coin collecting, several factors can increase a coin's value like minting errors, a low supply in high grades, or unique historical significance. In the case of the 2021 P. Washington Quarter, we're seeing some eye-catching qualities that collectors are searching for, qualities that can make one of these quarters worth up to thousands of dollars. One of the biggest reasons these 2021 P. Washington Quarters have spiked in value is due to minting errors. In some of these quarters, Collectors have reported rare mint errors like double dies, off-center strikes, and even die cracks. These errors happen during the minting process, often by accident, making the coins that have them stand out and desirable to collectors. Let's break down a few of the most valuable mint errors you should be looking for. First up, double dies. This error happens when the coin receives a doubled impression of the image often causing a shadowed look on the text or image. Then, there's the off-center strike, where the coin's design doesn't align with the edges, creating an obvious and eye-catching error. Lastly, die cracks, which appear as raised lines due to damage on the die that leaves marks on the coin's surface. All right, mint errors aren't the only reason for the high value of these 2021 peak quarters. Condition is crucial, too. In coin collecting, the better the condition, the higher the price. If you have a 2021 P. Washington quarter in mint, uncirculated condition, it's likely worth much more than a coin that's been handled or in circulation for some time. Now, for the big bucks, we're talking about quarters graded MS67 or higher. MS, or mint state, refers to coins that haven't been circulated and are in pristine condition. An MS67 grade can be valuable, but once you reach MS68 or higher, we're talking about the potential to fetch thousands of dollars, depending on collector demand. So where does this $13,000 figure come from? When a rare coin like a 2021 P. Washington quarter with a unique error or a high grade appears, it often goes up for auction, where collectors are willing to pay a premium. Recent listings and auction results have shown these quarters reaching some impressive prices. But it's essential to keep in mind that not every 2021 P quarter will reach that price. These quarters are only valued this high if they have a rare error or are graded by a reputable grading company, like PCGS or NGC, at MS68 or above. The $13,000 tag is exceptional and it reflects the top end of what these coins can fetch in today's market. Wondering if your 2021 P quarter could be a high-value coin? The best way to find out is to get it graded. A reputable grading service like PCGS or NGC can evaluate and certify the coin's condition. Once graded, 
you'll have a clear idea of its potential market value, and you might even get it listed for auction if it has the right attributes. To wrap things up, if you have a 2021 P. Washington quarter, take a close look. If it's in great condition or has one of those rare mint errors, it could be worth holding on to or getting professionally evaluated. Who knows? You might have a hidden gem that could sell for thousands, but remember, values fluctuate based on market demand and rarity. So while one coin may hit that $13,000 mark, others may settle lower. Either way, the thrill of discovering something rare is what makes coin collecting so exciting. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more insights on coin values and collectibles. Let us know in the comments if you have any of these quarters in your collection or if you're on the hunt for one. Thanks for watching and happy hunting.